Here's your dashboard page that you get when you log in. If you want to assign or preview lessons in my path, one of the most useful things you can do is set up report groups. I'm actually going to show that first. So if you want to set up for groups of your students to assign different kinds of lessons to different groups based on learning needs, click on rosters and you'll have a choice here. This is all students. You have a choice between all students in your grade and students in your class. But over here on actions, now you can add a report group. Create a new report group. Enter in a name. I'm going to call them the Spartans. And this will be a math group for third graders. Save that and continue. And now I can choose from all of the students that I have available to me and move them into my report group. I can either search by student name in this box. I can filter out so that it shows only the third graders. And if I want to click this box, I can get all of the third graders. But if I only want, say, these four in one group, move them into the report group. Save and continue. These are the teachers that are available for that report group. You can just save it and close it here. You don't have to assign teachers to those groups. And here's the report group information. And you can edit all of this at any time. If you want to, you can turn the learning games on or off for this group, edit that, edit their, my, what's available to them and my stuff. You can edit the instruction for them. You can edit the assessments for them, whether they're shown or not. You can edit report group information so you can add students or remove students to this group. There's an awful lot you can do if you want to just progress monitor a group. Report groups are very useful for that too. You can just assign, you only want to assign growth monitoring assessments to just this group. You can do that. So I'm going to get on to assess and teach, instruction, and math just to get to that back to that big page where you can do previewing and assigning lessons. So here's where I'm going to combine the two features. So if you scroll down, you see you can create assignments. This filter shows all lessons in English and in Spanish for all grades, kindergarten through eighth grade in all domains. So you can use these filters to cut down on sort of the noise if you like. All right, now it's showing all lessons, but there are, they also have groups of lessons that you can look through where it just sorts out some of them. Uh, these are by prerequisite for different iReady classroom units. As you go down here, there's they have it for a Eureka Math. If your school uses Eureka Math, you can look at that and say, okay, you're going to teach, let's see, module five is fractions, I think. You can click on that and you, if you wanted to use that to build some extra practice in, it would be the prerequisites they'd need for that module to help build background. I'm just going to stay with all lessons. And I want third grade. And I just want fractions. So there I go. And I, I just want to look at English lessons if I don't have any anyone who's taking lessons in Spanish. So I can filter that right out and I just want to start with these three right here. And I'm going to assign them there. And now I can assign them to just particular students that I have in my class or I can, if I want to pick the entire class or my report group, 
I can click that. And as I look down here, there's the Spartans that I just created. They're down here. The report groups that you add are going to be at the bottom of these classrooms and grades. So I'm going to assign that to the Spartans. Click. Or if I want, I can assign it to everybody in all the groups. And of course, these filters are helpful too if there's a lot of stuff for you to look through. But I just want to assign those lessons to the Spartans that for a student group I invented. And when you do that, you do have to click the uh, the date. Now this will be, you can choose for, because there's three different lessons. If you click that, you're going to set the same date for all of them to start. So they'll all be in their to-do list when they log in, all three lessons. But if you want to stagger them, you can stagger them. So that one will start Friday, and then we're assigning lessons in winter vacation. And then here, uh, here's, okay, New Year's Eve, then that one would become available. And, and stagger them that way. Now, due dates you don't have to assign. You can just leave that out. Sign lessons. And then here we are back to the preview and assign lessons page again with all the other stuff up above it. Now you want to go back and change that schedule because you realize you don't want to assign something on New Year's Eve. Then you can uh, manage the schedule. You can cancel by student. You can go to viewing class progress. That's the monitor instruction. There's always so many different ways to get to everything in iReady. And these are your assignments that you've set up. You can click on the plus right here and it'll say who it's assigned to. It's a, This lesson is assigned to the Spartans. And you can edit the due date, which isn't set. You can edit the availability date. You can cancel it for all students or cancel it by students. If you want to preview the lesson and see what it looks like, you can click View Details. And here you can click on Instruction. It'll actually show you the lesson. Or if you want to see what the questions are in the quiz for that lesson, you can click on that. It tells you the standard here for the for the state of Massachusetts. Click on the quiz and it'll show you what fraction of the shape is shaded. It's going to show you all the questions. So you get to see exactly what the students are are uh, are you sure are being asked. Exactly what they're being asked, and exactly what it looks like. You can see exactly what the instruction looks like and, and take it for yourself. It gives you an estimate of how long it's going to take for you to do that. That's how you preview lessons and assign lessons.